In this video, I'm going to show you you can create ranged enemies for your 2D top-down shooter that will try and follow the player and fire off little bullets to destroy him. You can see here the player will, the enemy will follow the player, um, but once he gets to a close enough distance, he will try to, he will stop moving and just keep firing. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial and create the enemy. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically create a new enemy. So let's just drop an enemy in here. We're also in the wrong scene. Let's switch the scene into this, which is not the canvas, square or something. There we go. Try to zoom in down here. So now we have this. We can also, I have a bunch of minimap graphics um, on the screen. We can actually turn off that layer by clicking layers and just hiding the minimap graphics up here. That means it won't display inside of our to the shooter. Now, if you haven't actually been following along with this and you want to create a ranged enemy, you can do so um, without having to watch your videos, but I do recommend going back so you understand what's going on. So the first thing I'll do is go drag just a standard enemy in. Um, we're going to right click him and click unpack completely so he's no longer a prefab. I'm just going to rename him to ranged enemy. I'm then going to change this color to something like a blue, something different to what we've already got. So we'll go for this nice little blue here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically duplicate the enemy script, rename the enemy script to ranged enemy. And then we're going to basic just double click this to open it up in our text editor. Now, for those who haven't actually watched the previous how you make an enemy script here, um, we're just going to change this to ranged enemy as well. This is essentially the script. So we have a target which the, play the enemy is chasing. Now, obviously, the target is going to be the player who they will chase. The speed is um, basically, here, as you can see here, it's just a speed. And we have a rotation speed, so how fast they can actually turn as well. And then we get a rigid body. And that way, we get there. In the update, we check for a target. If we don't have a target, then we try to find a target. Otherwise, we try we then rotate towards our target using these functions here. We then apply a fixed velocity, which will basically move us constantly straight or up in this sense towards the enemy. And as we rotate, our player will follow towards the rotation. Um, we then get our target is something as simple as find a player with a tag of play or find a game object with a player of tag and then get the transform. Um, and then on our collision, we'll destroy the player and set the target to know. If the uh, enemy is hit by a bullet, he will be destroyed. But we now need to obviously fix this and make it a little bit more cleaner. So we need to make this a ranged enemy. So we need two more elements in here. We need to say public float distance to shoot. So this is how far the enemy has to get from the player to actually shoot him. We then need another flow and this one is going to be distance to stop. It's going to be equal to something like 3F. So basically this one here is once we get within 5 um, meters, I guess 5 units of our player, we will then start to shoot. And then if we get too close to a player, once we get within three units of the player, we will stop moving. So we don't always um, go, sh basically, so we don't just go straight into the player. So the first thing to do is inside the fix, up, uh, fix update, go if uh, we want to say vector two dot distance from the target dot position and also the transform dot position. So the current player is less than or equal to or sorry no we want to say greater than or equal to our stop it distance to stop we then want to basically pass this in here so we say if we are far enough away from the player so if we're further away from the distance to stop we will still be able to move otherwise we can't move we will still rotate towards the target so we can actually shoot towards him but that's about there we also need enough of public transform called um, firing point which we that should be a lowercase firing point which will be the point of where we fire our bullets now we're going to be taking basically the same script from our player script as well to actually shoot the bullet so what we also need one more thing which i forgot about it's another float called um, fire rate 
And then we will need a private float as well called um, time to fire, which will be the fire rate in start. We'll say time to fire is equal to the fire rate, um, like that. And then if we go down to our update, we can say if we are within distance, so if we take this distance script here, we can say if we are closer to the distance stop, then we are allowed to shoot. Oh, shoot. So we're gonna create a shooting uh, function. So let's create a private void shoot. And then in here, we just wanna say if our time to fire Actually, this should be zero to start with. So we can actually just leave this. Because I just realized you want to be able to shoot straight away and then we'll apply the fire. So you want to say if our time to fire is less than or equal to zero F, we can actually shoot our bullets. So we'll say we'll just do a debug.log and call it shoot. We then want to say else we want to say time to fire is minus equal to time dot delta time. We also then want to say once we've shot, we want to say time to fire is equal to fire rate. And that means we will actually reset our shoot time every single time we take a shot. Basically giving you like a clock, uh, like if you've got a clock on your gun, you know what I'm saying. You guys, People who know guns know what I'm saying. People who don't are on the same level as me because I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, so now what we're doing is we've got our ranged enemy. We are getting the distance to stop and the distance to shoot and the distance to stop. And we basically are setting this. So now let's actually see if this works. So what we want to do is if we go to our Unity editor here and let the scripts compile, go to our enemy. We can actually remove this enemy component and add in our ranged enemy. Uh, drop him in just anywhere. There we go. We can give him his target of player. Well, actually, we don't need to give him a target because he will oh, just move the player in there. We don't need to give him a target because he will actually figure that out on his own. Um, so range enemy will also need a speed. That's fine. That's fine. And all this is fine for now. I might even do distance to stop as two units. or maybe, No, three is fine. We'll up the shoot time. We'll say it's eight. I feel like he should be further away to shoot. And the fire rate will be 0.5. Then we need to create an actual firing point for our user set so underneath the ranged enemy. Also, we want this to be the same color as our player. So let's copy that and paste that into our minimap graphic. Um, and then what we want to do is create an empty game object called this firing point. And if we go down here, we can actually set a like star or something for this. I'm just going to set a red point for this. And then we can move this just ahead of our player here. If it, why won't it let me click it? Firing point. There we go. There we go. So we'll just pull it slightly ahead of our, our enemy. Let's, let's move this to minus four and three, just so we're on that point. And then I kind of want this to be like just about there, just in front of the player. So we'll put in one ahead there. You can put this wherever you want. This is just basically where we'll shoot. You know what? Let's turn off snapping and move them a little closer. We want it to spawn about there. We also need to give this guy a bullet prefab, but we'll add that in a second. So let's save this, hit, oh, we want to turn off the spawn as well, just so we can test the um, ranged enemy on its own. Um, let's hit play and see if he comes towards the player and stops at a certain distance. So you can see there he's doing a turn, he's coming in and he's, he's drifting. He doesn't seem to want to stop. So let's have a look. What's the issue here? So what was happening there is he's currently sliding around. So when he stops actually applying force or velocity, he's still moving. So what we want to do is in here, we want to say else rb.velocity is equal to vector2.0. That's basically just going to set his velocity to nothing. So he stops completely. We could give him a stopping time as well by saying as he's coming closer, if his velocity gets below a certain point, then we stop him. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it at that. Let's see if this actually works now. So he should get to us and then stop when he's in range. Um, we could also add a visual, visualization for this. You can see the distance, but we'll add that in later. So let's see, he goes round, 
he gets within range and there you go you see he stops there so the camera we have has an audio listener on it and i just realized our mini map also has an audio listener so we need to remove this audio listener because there should only be one audio listener in a scene there's also a reason we're getting an error now you can see here the enemy we don't actually have this script at 45 so if we go here and go to line 45 we actually want to check before we do this if we even have a target so what we want to say if if target is not equal to null then we can move all this in there so we just want to say if we have a target then all of this can happen otherwise it doesn't run and that should fix it from having any errors when it first launches like this so let's see when he gets close enough will he actually shoot the player so hit play he stops there and we do not get a shoot notification it's just oh we've put distance to stop so that should actually be distance to shoot we also kind of want these guys to rotate a little faster um and i'm actually going to up their range so here i'm going to make their range 10 and their distance to stop five i want them to be able to shoot from quite a distance and stop quite far away actually eight is probably fine not 89 fire rate is 0 0.5 which is fine speed is equal to three again fine oh and we also want to set our firing point in here we'll use that in a second maybe and he's still not going to say our console isn't actually logging oh so it turns out our enemy did shoot and you can see there this is it actually calling it's because i did have my console actually logging i feel like a dummy so now he's actually able to shoot we can see this is shooting we want to actually instantiate and fire a bullet so what do we want to do well if we actually look at our player script here you can see we get all sorts of different things if we go down to the shoot method we can instantiate a bullet at the firing point rotation and position so if we copy this and we go back to our ranged enemy we can actually instantiate a bullet here with the bullet prefab which we need to get up here so if we create a public game object call it bullet prefab there we go we should now have no error there we can also give this a game object and set this to something else but i think our bullet prefab if correct me if i'm wrong will actually destroy itself with its lifetime so each bullet has a lifetime and a speed and there you go that's perfect so now on our player we also want to make sure we can actually be hit by the bullet so what we want to do is say on collision enter 2d so basically we want to take this here and just do the same thing let's so say on collision enter 2d if other dot other dot uh, compare tag contact game object dot compare tag is equal to bullet then we could also probably give a tag to enemy bullet as well we probably want to set its tag to enemy bullet when he shoots it so if it's enemy bullet then we will destroy our game object and that will just destroy us we'll do a proper death screen later on in the series but here we should now be able to go to our unity let this refresh go to our ranged enemy and we want to pass in our bullet prefab now i'm going to add the same bullet here but you can choose to have different bullets actually no let's do okay let's create an enemy bullet only because there's two reasons we need to set a new tag now we could do this in the editor once you shoot it so we just say enemy bullet here we could actually create a custom um, thing that changes it but i also want to change its color and i don't really want to do that in script so we're going to make the enemy bullets like a red color like that so we know that it's an enemy bullet and not a player bullet coming at us so now we have a bullet and an enemy bullet now if we go back to our ranged enemy we can swap it out for the enemy bullet and let's just see what happens will it shoot or will it not so once he gets close he's shooting off you can see he's trying to fire at me and there you go he hit me and we are destroyed now i'm definitely going to show slow down the firing rate also you can see we're getting this issue uh, in the en range enemy of 31 we're actually going to get this on every issue yeah so what we want to do is we actually want to put this inside that oh 
No, if we have a target and we can rotate towards, and we also want to say if target is not equal to null, then we can shoot our target. This just basically tells it if we die, don't, don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> so now if we go back to Unity and let this script compile, and we, there we go, that's all cleared. We check all this, that's all good. Um, we wanna go to our sport, actually, I wanna go to the enemy bullet prefab and I'm gonna half the speed, I'm gonna make it five, only because that was super quick and I've not got the reflexes to dodge that. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, and there we go, so that's fine. Enemy bullet at that. And then if we go back to the range enemy, we wanna create a prefab out of our enemy. So we have the ranged enemy now. And then in our spawners, we can delete the initial ranged enemy now. And in our spawners, what we want to do is turn on the spawners and add in our new ranged enemy as basically saying that can spawn. Um, and I think we've got different spawn rates for each one of them. That's fine. Now let's hit play and see if we get any ranged boys coming out. So we've got a normal one coming at us. There we go. A speedy boy and then here you go you can see we're getting shot at as well and now we have to dodge these shootings ah and he got me and i am gone now someone is still trying to access this this is the smooth camera follow so on our smooth camera follow we're going to want to do the same as what we've done before find the smooth camera follow and just say in this fixer we say if target is equal to null return that just means if there's no target then you can't actually do this so stop trying <laughs> all right so here we go we now have this let's see how it's all going we're getting shot by these guys we have a shooter over there so he shoots he shoots really quick we should probably slow how fast they can fire because they can fire faster than i do and there we go we can destroy all of these super easily um and our ranged boys are coming in and trying to shoot and they will rotate towards us you might want to make these guys rotate a little quicker because they rotate a little slow so let's just make a couple of changes to him i'm just going to shrink all this down and what we're going to do is we're going to get his speed and we're going to leave it at three that's fine his rotation speed however we're going to put this up to about 0 0.01 it was a was it a 0 0.025 this crazy one Okay, that should make him a little quicker. We then want to make his fire rate slower. We're going to say it's about every one second he will fire a bullet instead of every other sec instead of every half a second. And now let's see how he comes. How well, there's one coming from our left. There you go. That's much magical. And you can see he actually aims towards us a lot quicker. So he's no longer having these issues. And there you go. That is a ranged enemy inside of Unity for a top two. I meant top down 2D shooter. My brain went stopped functioning for a minute there. But guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and also leave a comment down below of what you want to see next and if you have any issues. If you do have issues and you need to share code or whatnot, hop in our Discord and ask for help there. Or just join our Discord because it's a friendly game dev and developer community. It's a pretty fun place to be. But anyway, thank you for tuning this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.